All right, so here we go. So in this program, I'm going to be teaching you how to start and grow your coaching, hypnotherapy, NLP, RTT, healing, or even motivational speaker business. And this is essentially going to be laying out the business plan that you can follow to grow your business from scratch, start getting paid clients, start earning a great income, and then scaling your business. So guys, let's look at this business plan. So what I'm also going to give you guys access to, if you go into the resources section of this program, I'm going to give you guys a free copy of my book, which is I Can Make You a Rich Coach, Hypnotherapist or NLP Practitioner. Now, this is really going to underline a lot of the processes and systems I'm going to be talking about today, but you can get it in book form. I go into a lot more detail in this book as well. So dive into the resource section. You can download this book for free and it will basically follow on from what I'm teaching you today, plus give you some diagrams, some extra information we can dive deep into the processes as well. So here we go. Let's set the foundation. So when most coaches, hypnotherapists, and NLPs start out in business, probably just like you guys, chaos begins. Just like in my business at one point, you're probably experiencing a lot of chaos, a lot of complexity, and a lot of confusion when it comes to growing your business. So what seems like a simple business model, which is essentially get paid clients, turns into a chaotic mess of services, products, systems, prices, niches, social media, events, costly mistakes, a lot of guesswork, and a lot of abstract strategies. Now, all of this, this phenomenon occurs in two types of business owners, but not in the third type. So in order to succeed, I'm going to show you how to become the third type. So I'm going to give you the business plan of the third type of therapist, coach, RTT, or NLP, or business owner in general, the third type that will actually succeed in business. To the point where all the me all the mentors, all the gurus, all the people you look up to, even your colleagues that are doing really, really well, even if they don't realize they are, they have become the third type. They're following a business process, a business plan, a plan of attack, whatever you want to call it, to become that third type of therapist and coach. So what I'm going to reveal to you, just like I follow in my business and just like all my students follow as well, I'm going to show you how to become that third type. I'm going to show you what to concentrate on, what you should be doing each day, plus equally, if not more important, what you should be ignoring each day if your goal is to make money, if your goal is to succeed and grow your business from scratch. And I assume it is because that's why you guys are here to check out this business plan. So let's look at the first type. Now you might find yourself being the first type, the second type, but like I said, I'm going to show you how to be the third type. So the type one is what I call the do everything at once therapist or a coach. So when therapists first start out in business, they try to attempt everything at once without tracking or without a plan. Now tracking and a plan is going to come in really, really important later on in this program. So what are they doing? They're using every social media platform at once. They're not tracking anything. They don't know how to use a social media platform. Essentially what they're thinking is if I just show up on social media and I create just some random content or I talk about myself, I talk about my journey, I talk about NLP or hypnosis, this is going to attract clients. They also go ahead and attend every event and networking party. They create 12 different funnels with 12 different ads with nine different lead pages and squeeze pages. They use Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads. They use ads across all different platforms, spending a lot of money. They're also giving away pro bono and free sessions. They're hosting events, webinars, and workshops. They create 10 different products in eight different niches with 16 different prices. They're concentrating on TEDx speaking events, going to podcasts, getting asked to speak on stage for free. They're creating a lot of selfies. It's always talking about them and their social media, always talking about their story. And all this complexity, very quickly, they get overwhelmed. They become exhausted. And all of this effort never materializes into any sort of success. No paid clients. And when they see all of this stuff that they're doing not working, what do they assume? Well, they think, well, I have to keep doing more. So they keep adding more of the same sort of stuff, more and more and more until even 15 hours a day amongst everything they're doing is still not producing any results. They're spending all of this time every single day pushing all of these buttons, but they're not getting anything in return, which is paid clients or any success in their business. So that's type one. As a matter of fact, I used to be the type one therapist. Then I transitioned into the type two. So let me show you the type two therapist. So the type two therapist, coach, NLP, it's really all the same thing. They become what I call the think about it person. So this therapist or coach comes to realize or think how much they have to do in order to succeed. They think they have to do all the social media. 
They're scared about doing sales. They think they have to do videos and Facebook lives every day. They've got to do YouTube videos. They've got to do funnels and paid ads. They've got to go to all the networking events. They have to give away free sessions. They've got to do the business cards. They've got to do the flyers. They've got to talk to people and give away sessions for free. They need to pick a niche or they don't need to pick a niche or they pick half a niche or they pick five niches. They're pricing their services based on just a hunch or a guess. Or they think, well, I've got to make programs in every single niche for 18 different niches with all these different prices because I want to be the type of therapist or a coach that can work with everybody. So that's what they're constantly thinking about. So what happens? Well, they quickly get overwhelmed, confused on where to start because they just don't know where do I start with all this complexity and they end up doing nothing. They just sit in front of their laptop every day frozen in fear. However, their conclusion is to get more certified. They look at all this complexity and think, well, in order for me to understand all of this, before I even start this, what I think I need to do, the assumption I'm going to make is I need more certifications first. And this is really just a way to push away what they maybe know they have to do, but it's easy to get certified. It's more fun to get certified. So they go and conclude all these other experts are saying, you need to have masters, you need to have clinical, you need to have all of this stuff. They go and do all of that thing, or they spend more of their time doing mindset abundance block clearing, doing timeline therapy on themselves. They assume that the reason their business is not going to succeed, not that they don't have to do any of this stuff. The reason their business won't succeed is because what's happening in here first. So they do more mindset, more timeline work as they concluded that this is the real problem in their business. What's the point of doing Facebook lives and social media and creating a niche and creating a business system? What's the point of doing all of that stuff if I know my abundance blocks are going to block all of these things from happening? So this is a bad assumption. So the type one and the type two therapist, coach, NLP, or RTT, all ends up in the same place. Both of these types of therapists, this way of thinking, this approach where there's no plan, there's no plan of attack, there's no system, all lead to the same place, absolute chaos. The person either doing too much without tracking or the person not doing anything and are making the assumptions that it's abundance blocks. As long as I clear my abundance blocks, I'll start making money in my business. And both of these places, like I said, lead into absolute chaos. And you might find yourself in these places. So what's the solution? If we're not going to be the type one therapist or a coach, we don't, definitely don't want to be the type two therapist or a coach. What is the solution here? So you've probably tried the free sessions, the free giveaways, the networking and local events, the BNI events, the free program access for testimonials. You've probably tried the flyers, the business cards, the working with family and friends. You've maybe even paid for cheap ads and cheap leads. You've hired an agency. You may have even done the cleared your abundance blocks, cleared your money blocks, giving away free challenges, opening up free Facebook groups, anything you can think of. And if you've tried those things, you probably find that you're still not getting anything out of them. There's no money or cash flow into your business. Or if you're thinking about doing all of these things, you're frozen so much in fear, you never really attempt these things. So what is the solution to all of this?